Cameron Chai bringing another episode of Azo TV and today I'm speaking to John Kuehl from CLAS and he's going to tell us about their 1190 particle size analyzer. Thank you very much. Um, what I'm going to show you today is the CLAS 1190 three laser system. We're the world's only three laser system with fully integrated liquid and dry dispersion. Liquid dispersion is located at the top filled with a tank for various liquids from waters to, to aggressive solvents and alcohols. Your sample would go here for liquid dispersion. For dry dispersion, it's fully integrated, so you would insert your dry sample in the vib vibratory feeder, and you can switch back and forth with simple software um, without having to change physically any optical path or any lensing or any type of mechanical interface. We also integrate in there a full uh, capable imaging or image analysis system. The image analysis uh, enables us to take a look at not only particle shape, but also the particle size combined with each other to help determine the various difference in either agglomerations, particle shape features, um, um, and various um, um, uh, morphology differences between particle size and shape. To show you simply the instrument itself from the hardware, what we have done um, and CELUS has been on, on the forefront of this, is we have an um, integrated liquid system with peristaltic pumps that enable the user to set the speeds depending upon the particle shape and the particle size and the results that they want to obtain. And that path for the liquid dispersion takes you from the sample input through the cell, where the, where the optical cell is based and the multiple lasers, through the imaging system, so we're actually looking at the same aliquot of sample that's in the um, particle size analyzer as it is in the particle shape analyzer. It feeds back, comes back into the tank. So it's a closed loop system and we're able to take multiple collections of multiple um, um, types of, of samples, whether again be a, a slurry or a dry powder put in there and, and wanted to be analyzed. The way we're able to do that is we have no um, alignment, no auto alignment, no cells to change, no folding optics, and a set path length. Sealess, again, has been on the forefront of the multiple laser technology. Uh, multiple lasers means we have one laser that is looking for a, a mid-sized range of particles, another la laser looking at the smaller particles down to 40 nanometers, and a third laser looking at the larger particles up to two and a half millimeters. So our capability on the 1190 LD is from 40 nanometers up to two and a half millimeters without the change of optics or dispersion modes or modules to make a measurement on that wide range of analyses. To show you some of the software, how we control that, for example, is we have a WYSIWYG or a mimic screen. By WYSIWYG, I mean is what you see is what you get. So if I click on the pump icon, it stops on the software and it also stops on the pump itself by clicking it on or clicking it off. We can do the same for ultrasound, for, st for stirring of the, of the actual um, um, tank, so whatever in there, as well as being able to look at the ultrasound using a 50 watt ultrasonic bath, for example. That's in liquid dispersion. If we want to switch to dry dispersion, I'm going to show you in software first, and then I will have you look at the hardware to see that there physically is no change. So to change from liquid to dry dispersion, we have to hit one icon, so there is no physical change. We are now in dry dispersion mode. So instead of seeing a tank and a stir, we have a vacuum, a vibratory feeder, air pressure that we can vary from 100 millibars up to eight bars of pressure. If I want to go back to liquid, we can press the icon again and we go back to liquid dispersion mode. So in the hardware, there is nothing moving at all. And we will show you that in a second. I will hit the liquid mode and I'll go to dry now. And you can see all that we've done is we've changed it from putting a sample in the tank up above to putting the sample in the vibratory feeder. It's this exact same optical path that the, the sample will run through. And to switch it back again, just by looking at it, as I switch the button, you'll see nothing moves. Now we are back into liquid dispersion mode from dry dispersion mode. 
That coupled with the image analysis software, and I will close the door to show you a little bit better, is we have an inverted optical microscope capable of looking at particles of less than one micron up to the two and a half millimeters of the same range of the particles we have for the particle size analyzer. We use up to four um, objectives for varying magnifications. This is a permanently calibrated microscope that we're able to allow to set the focus and collect the images. The particles themselves, as like we showed you earlier, come through the tank, through the the um, system itself through the water, through the peristaltic pumps, into a flow cell, come out the flow cell and go back into the dispersion again. So it's, again, it is the exact same aliquot of sample that we've looked in particle size. What the software will show you is we will open up the shape software and you will see here we have a full featured shape analysis software. We have an image that is one of the images that we collected we can trend on various um, um, different types of measurements or parameters. In this case, we're trending on aspect ratio, which is an indication of non-spherical particles. But again, it's only one indication. There's also sphericities, circularities, um, etc. We can also have data that we've input from the particle size analyzer, so laser diffraction data, which might be difficult for you to see on, on the camera. It's a, ye a yellow distribution with a blue cumulative distribution. And we can overlay that with the shape distribution, which is the red cumulative data and the gray histogram. With that, we can export the data to the particle size analyzer and overlay and compare the data, or we can come from the particle size analyzer and go to the imaging. We can also get information on one particle and look at a varying degree of parameters. So various size and shape factors, compactness, equivalent circular diameter of, of a non-circular particle, for example. If it's a fiber, we have the ability to look at the fiber length, the width, the amount of curl, and if what the rectangle ratio would be of that, part, of that fiber. We also have the ability to load in multiple, multiple um, images, and that is only limited by the hard disk space or network space that you have. The higher the, the number of particles, the higher the, the um, matching capability of spherical or non-spherical particles would be to the particle size analyzer. So as you can see, we have a full-featured particle size analysis system using laser diffraction, <laughs> which Celis invented in 1967. We have a three-laser system, and lasers are, are used only because of they are the most precise and have the highest accuracy of any other type of light source for laser diffraction. We have integrated liquid and dry dispersion with integrated shape analysis. So we have a full featured particle characterization analyzer. Uh, with that, um, we hope you check out our, our webpage at www.particle-size.com and uh, stop by if we're ever in your area or at a trade show and we'd be more than happy to talk to you. Thank you very much. All right, John, thanks for telling us about the 1190 particle size analyzer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.